house was inspired by Dave Jeffries, who is my older brother and only sibling, who for 40 years struggled with the most menacing of mental illnesses, schizophrenia, until his death two years ago. He was an extraordinary person to me in our growing up years as my role model and mentor, but even more so after he got ill. He showed such courage and determination overcoming many hurdles uh, through all the torment that schizophrenia causes. For 25 years he struggled to find some semblance of stability, trying all the tools available to him, electric shock treatments, medications, psychotherapy, but with clock-like predictability every three or four years he would descend to such a devastatingly low place he'd have to be re-hospitalized and it was like starting over again each time until he found permanent counselor-supported housing in the Northern Virginia neighborhood where we lived. He thrived in that environment, evidenced by the fact that he didn't need any hospitalization the remaining 15 years of his life. For us, his family, it meant peace of mind, knowing that he could live with dignity and independently with the support he needed for the rest of his life. My brother was the ultimate role model for living successfully in supported housing. And that's why when he died a couple of years ago, we wanted to honor him and decided the best way to do that is to provide some supported housing for people like Dave. Living at Dave's house has been really a very good place for me to be independent. When I was at home, I would not, I wouldn't have any place to, you know, anybody to talk to or any, anything. I was isolating. I wasn't eating. I wasn't taking care of myself. I don't have the anxiety. I feel like I'm in a place that I'm taking care of. There is this phenomenon in psychiatry called revolving door. They end up in the unit, they get treated, they get a little better, get out, they have no place to stay. They, they miss their medications, or they end up in jail, or they may have committed a crime, or really get sick and end up in a medical unit. And then from there, they get a refer back to us. I mean, it is a revolving door. It can, there is actually no meaning to what we're doing. We're just doing a band-aid approach. What is more meaningful is to really provide them a safe, home where they, they can belong and they can have full control and learn about the skills of dealing with daily activities of daily living. When I walk through um, a, a home like Dave's house, it is just that, it is a home. It's not a facility. It's not a place where people tell them, this is what you need to do now. It's a place where they say to themselves, this is what I need to do now. I need to contribute to my living facility. It needs to be a nice place and this is where I want to live. Today's program and, and luncheon does benefit our Dave's House program, which is a uh, housing program with the idea uh, and suggestion of our board member, Lynn Malinsky. It's a vital part of their overall recovery and treatment to have a place to live. If, if a mentally ill person has a stable housing environment, then they can much better deal with the other issues that they have to face in their life. It's, it's just a tough transition when you, are, when you have a mental disability. How do you um, afford housing? Dave's House gives you the opportunity to transition into um, the normalcy of, 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 of living or even feeling as if you're an owner of, of, of properties. One of the most important factors, if not the most important factor in a person's recovery from mental illness is permanent housing. So many individuals when they're being treated for mental illness are passive recipients of care. They don't make their own decisions. They don't do things for themselves. When recovery happens and it's supported by an agency like Lakeside or a Dave's House, you see individuals that are now making their own decisions. They're choosing to go to lunch over here. They're choosing to go to a program. They're choosing to get on the bus. And the, the confidence that they begin to show is really, really meaningful. Dave's House provides something unique in that it, it 
gives people a sense of stability and continuity. They know that they aren't going to lose their home. They get to stay, they get to grow, they get to put down roots, and then they can flourish. My name is Robert, and I'm living here at Dave's house for over a year. Um, it has helped me progress in, in all areas of my life. I was just worried, I thought I was going to be in jail for the rest of my life, in and out of jail, to live, because I can't live on the streets, you know. And it really helped, it helped me control my anger, uh, budget my money, and pay rent, and, and live independently. It's, you know, my life is growing, and it's still getting better and I don't plan on stopping. I plan on just pushing forward no matter what. It's phenomenal and having spent the day here with Dave's House residents makes me feel so good that we've done this because they have done very well in their recovery and healing and are doing so fantastically well that it makes it all worthwhile. And I would add that this guy right here was our inspiration. Really just a good man and lived so well in supported housing for the last 15 years of his life. So because the need is so great, we're gonna keep on going. And our ambitious goal is to have 20 houses by the year 2020. Thank you. We have a goal set to have 20 houses by 2020. And in order to do that, we're going to need the support of the community and people like you who believe in the cause and in the form of contributions, financial contributions to get more houses. What I'd say is if the people who want to help and have a passion for this cause, I'd say uh, go to www.lakesidecares.org and there are ways to donate time, money, you know, love, lots of things you can do. Dave's life gave us both mutual purpose and we'll be working on this effort for the rest of our lives. Mm -hmm.